You know, new media, the name says it, it's kind of the newer media, the newer channels. It's what you see on the internet. Uh, it's YouTube, Twitter, the social media. Basically anything that's not TV, radio, or a newspaper, that's new media. I've always been using new media uh, from the moment it emerged to, to reach out and to enter into a dialogue with, especially with, with people, young people or older people that are not familiar with my faith and my world. And so it helps to bridge a gap. You know, we shouldn't be afraid of new media or social media. It's not just narcissism. Even the selfies, I think, come from a, a desire to share. And that, in a way, is positive. Before I was called to be a priest, I was already a, kind of a, a technology nerd or a geek, and I loved uh, computers. And I remember my first computer, I got it at the age of 12. And so I've always been following those developments. And then once the internet came about, I was like, this is such a great tool to evangelize. Because no longer am I just playing with it in my own little bubble, but I can use it as a means to reach the entire world. This is perhaps one of the most exciting times to be a priest, and I always feel like a bit of a missionary as well, because I have my parishes at home, but in the meantime, I can reach people as far as Alaska or, or South Africa, and, and I can do it all with very, very simple and cheap means. With very cheap cameras, you can create programs that look like television and, and reach a, a worldwide audience of millions if you do it right. Storytelling is as old as mankind, and we've, we've, we've told stories, Jesus tells stories all the time, because stories are very powerful in, 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 in uh, transmitting certain values or ideas. And that's why I believe that talking about Star Wars can be a great kind of starting point for a conversation get, that goes beyond that. Because you can start about you know, talking about, I don't know, um, Darth so-and-so falling from grace and kind of choosing the, 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 the wide path of evil and, and then you have these Jedi that have to sacrifice everything, sometimes even their lives, to help save the world. And you can create the parallel with what we see in the Bible and what faith is teaching us and what God is calling us to do. It's easy to go evil and to think only about yourself and, and be violent. It's much harder to sacrifice yourself. The new generation plays video games and it's, it's a massive industry and it's a huge time sink for a lot of kids. They spend all their vacations playing games and parents are sometimes concerned because they don't know that world themselves. And so they, they are afraid it's all about shooting and violence and what will that do to my kid uh, or my teenager or the students. And I think what I've discovered kind of talking to gamers, because I'm curious and I want to know well, what is it what they search, is that actually um, one of the biggest appeals of gaming today is, is gaming together. It's the social aspects, which you, you wouldn't expect because it seems very solitary, but a lot of these games require you to work together, to solve problems, to conquer an enemy. What I try to do with uh, Tridio is to create videos that are engaging, that are about video games or about popular culture, because that's a language that a lot of people speak. And then I try to always take that as a point of departure and then add a deeper layer or ask questions and talk about religious themes in Star Wars or about those social aspects in video games. People can find me on social media. I'm uh, uh, in a lot of places on Twitter, on Google+, on Facebook. Just look for Father Roderick and usually a link will show up. And for the videos, they can go to my YouTube channel or to tridio.com, which is like video, but then it's got TRI and uh, we are going to do so many exciting projects in the months to come and I, I hope that we can reach a worldwide audience.